I uh, decided to be a, a doctor, and I, I was uh, 14 years of age at the time, uh, medicine was predominantly still, at least where I studied it, was predominantly a male-dominated uh, specialty. And uh, now, of course, that whole gender change has happened, and it's a very attractive uh, career for women. And that is something that is wonderful because we have some great role models. Uh, I was able to take time uh, to uh, study medicine. I qualified when I was 24 in 1981 and went into clinical practice in hospital medicine in Ireland. And from there, realised that I was very interested in clinical epidemiology. Uh, and at that time, realised that there was a, a bigger world out there, a population I wanted to get to know better. And people advised me to apply for the training programme in Ireland in public health, which I did. And I I was uh, fortunate enough to be chosen there and did my full training in Ireland before coming to the United Kingdom in 1989. The opportunity came to look at the medical director role and I was keen to shape that role into something that was the medical director for everyone across PHE, not simply for the health protection system, which is the other part of the role. Uh, and it was a privilege to have that opportunity for six months before the pandemic hit. And then, of course, everything got focused into protecting the population and working on the pandemic, which is where I've been since. So it hasn't been a normal medical director role but it has certainly been a very interesting one. Science was always something that interested me and it's actually a funny story how um, I'll never forget the endless conversations that I had with my father asking him all sorts of questions from the simpler ones to how the world was created and how life on earth was formed and for the questions that he did not have an answer to give me he was just giving me his theory and he was telling me that that this is just his own truth and growing up I'll have to find my own theory and develop my own truth so I was thinking how am I going to do it I'm Irene Salustru and I'm a placement student in Public Health England. Back then, I was picturing scientists as these powerful people that had the answers for all the tough questions and they just, they were saving the world. So I thought, I'm gonna be a scientist. And indeed, I came here as an almost naive, inexperienced student and they made me feel respected. They made me feel seen, heard, supported. I do believe that PH is a very diverse place. And I mean, the statistics talk for themselves. In 2018, it was reported that 70% of the staff working for Public Health England are women from deputy directors to head of departments to managers to my supervisor and mentor and to all the female scientists working daily in the labs are women and it's fascinating because i grew up in a society that pretty much underestimated my gender now as a young adult like coming phd being surrounded by intelligent women i'm inspired i'm inspired by all of them i'm inspired by their, their passion their determination their strength the fire they have inside them i aspire to be like them I'd particularly like to pay tribute to the scientists and the uh, medics and the nurses who are working in our health protection system, particularly the scientists in the laboratories who perhaps are the unsung heroes. It's it, the women who have kept us going seven days a week, 24 hours a day, since the beginning of 2020, who are the true heroes of this pandemic. And they are also people who inspire all of us, not just women, but all of our workforce and bringing humanity, compassion, but also knowledge and science and excellence. And those combinations are winning combinations. I got to experience the whole COVID-19 testing and it's life changing because Public Health England gave me the opportunity to be part of something so big and important and it really shapes who I am and it really determines who I will be as a future professional, as a future scientist, as a future leader. I'm in love with this place. I often find myself thinking of ways to improve our services, empower the workforce. I scratch my head sometimes thinking how can we avoid or manage a future outbreak? I have a vision. I, I do have a vision for that place and I want to grab an opportunity and implement it. 
Young people coming into work in the public health service of the future will have an exciting set of prospects. We've learned so much so quickly in the last two, well, one and a half years that has accelerated both the development of technology such as genomics and testing, but also the use of technologies in places where we can release our most senior skills to do the human factors that are so important to solve problems, build knowledge, protect people. So I, I would encourage uh, all the women who have career aspirations to uh, progress in science, in medicine and healthcare, uh, in the public health system, and particularly in Public Health England, to live that dream. You can do the same as I did. Who knows what I uh, thought would happen when I came to the UK, completely unknown, 1989, and had intended to become an academic and return to an academic role. And look at this. So there are opportunities there if you're willing to follow your instincts, follow your dream. You can do what I did and more and good luck.